The following podcast contains mature language and adult discussions. My new mic cube, that's another thing. I'm supposed to have the new branding on my mic cube. It hasn't come yet. All right, click this, the Kevin Ash Podcast. He's Kevin, I'm Sean. If you're looking for somebody else, they're not here. But um, they're probably talking about Vince on a different podcast. But uh, Allegedly. You're, allegedly. You're, uh, I just got to say that though I was happy to have made money on the Lions because they covered, uh, they did not win. Um, and if about, I don't know, what part of the game? Third quarter. Third quarter. I think I even texted the group chat. I said, this is done. You know, this is, we're good. And what the f*** happened? Mm. Lions became the Lions. Yeah. You know, I, I, and there was a part of me that knew that they, they, I'm pretty sure they ended up playing Minnesota at home. Then the two, you know, they hadn't been away from Detroit in a month. And that's a fucking, it's just, it's a long flight out to San Fran. So. Yeah. Yeah, but they were tight. I mean, it, it was... Uh... It looked great in the first half. They did the exact same thing of the game before. They they set up, they, 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 they go in, they set the run game up, which activates play action, which activates the... Uh... It keeps your secondary honest is what it does. Yeah, well, and then, but then all of a sudden, the defense... Goes in at halftime and makes three adjustments, and they can't recover. You know, I don't like to blame coaching usually because it, it, there's a lot that goes into a game. But why not take the field goal points? Because Two times. they 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 had done that the whole. That was their mo. Like, this is different. It's now, a championship now, game. yeah, yeah, Get but now's points. not the time. This is what brought us to the dance, and I'm just like, well, put six points on that board. Well, you know, Get my whole thing points. was is after the first one, don't make the same mistake twice. Right. That was my whole thing. First one, that was your aggressiveness. Second one is just like, man, take the points. Yeah, man. And, so I was banging my head when I they kept them out when they kept the offense out there. Mm. Anyway, so another another season ends. So. I won't even watch the Super Bowl because I'm so afraid that T- Taylor and and and, uh, and her man are gonna fucking somehow make me vote for Biden. I just know that they're going to suck me into this. Well, this... like uh, what's his name, Jack uh, Jack. Prozabake at the uh, RNC function said, we may not have Taylor Swift on our side, but we got Ted Nugent and John Voigt. So you're okay running. I, maybe if you're running for like the den leader in the recreation room of the nursing home, maybe you're all right if you got John Voigt on your side. But everyone wow. under 50 went to fucking Google for that one. You see... Uh, I'll, actually, where am I going to be? I'm going to be in Sacramento during the Super Bowl. Yeah. Is that close to San Francisco? We're not even having people over. You're not going to do a Super Bowl thing? No. Why? Did you used to? Well, and it, and it, yeah, because the Lions were never in the Super Bowl, so that was the you know was the Super Bowl. Now the Lions were. We, it's like. Uh. Now you now it's the dumped boyfriend you have to sit there. Well, no, we it, it's like old school western, and we still got the casket, 
from the fucking the lions in the middle of the living room. So it's like you can't see the TV over it. So it's like I see what a Tamara have uh, stickers on her face and shit. I oh, my sister stuff. sent us a wait. T, we had T's um, knit hat on the the Guardian Angel. We had we had more mojo going on, except we couldn't score a fucking point. God so. damn! God damn! So, and then the other thing, of course, was that you know people clamoring for the for Vince coverage in the last episode. I mean, some people pointed it out on there. We, we tape midweek, Wednesday or Thursday usually, and we had just gotten. And that was we did, did we do Thursday last week? Uh, Thursday. I yeah, we did Thursday. So it... I had just gotten the texts. Uh, you saw them before me, maybe, but I, I didn't, I didn't even have time to to research anything, or, or no. and I'm not just gonna go on and just talk about shit that I, that I don't know the let's details pile, of it's, let's pile on let's you know what ability for the exactly and my whole thing is this what if um vince mcmahon decides that you know, this this thing goes a completely different way that okay i i, I need to backtrack to, to number one good if these things were done to me by a 77-year-old man. I wouldn't be looking for a payoff. I would be looking for him to die in prison on criminal charges. Because once you get the criminal charges, you can still go back and get civil. But you like the can't. OJ. I mean, absolutely they, the browns they, you know he was Brown. let off he was acquitted but the brown family won the civil case won the civil case which is, is and but the thing is without a reasonable doubt is what the, the criminal standard is so well there i don't think there's been any investigation because there was never a criminal all right well so backtrack right a year and a half ago right is when this Yes. first breaks not in these details we don't know this information um but we know the hush money we know uh the women etc so and there at, at, at that same time we were privy to the fact that she wasn't the first person that had signed a non-disclosure no i think they, what was the total 15 million or something like that uh, 15 right 13 yeah, I th I 15 was, million 15 yeah yeah. Okay. So, so, so this she's was three of the fifteen, I think, right? Yeah. So this is so no nobody was like wide eyed or but as soon as as soon as you throw uh, any kind of feces or anything that's just absolutely salacious that not, now it, it's like oh, I can't believe you guys didn't cover it. Well, number number one, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. And it's like this. I just got done watching. I think that we were talking about it a couple weeks ago. I just got done watching on Netflix. I, I rewatched the three part Epstein thing. And this wasn't a 14 year old girl that was um, given a, a man a hand job for, t for $200 and brought back to her trailer house like that's that was not the situation so it's like when when they when they start using when she was being groomed you know and she was this and she's that and i'm just like well jesus like how, how did she like not get out of this well, I mean, well in the complaint that was released the charges in there and i'm gonna itemize them because we don't know we, we talked about this with, with another wrestler a few weeks ago. Allegations stand as allegations until are there charges? Is, has there been an admission? Good God, if, uh, Kev, if, I, if you accuse me of bending you over the couch and, and, and killing you. Murdering like, me. Murdering you like Will Smith. You know, without some substantiation, I hope 
people wouldn't report that that happened because um, maybe it didn't. But uh, however, the char- some of the charges in this complaint, this lawsuit, are criminal, in my opinion. In my opinion, they're criminal. So um, things I would wonder about. Back a year and a half ago, when this all first came to light, was none of this made public? If it was, did the authorities dismiss it? Or how was it just ignored? Or did she not mention uh, these details? Was it just proposed? Was it just uh, uh, posited as an affair that ended and she accepted hush money and then never talked about this until now? Um, because this is a year and a half later. So I, w- I would imagine just based on this document that a district attorney some somewhere is obligated to investigate this and either pursue criminal charges or not. Obviously that this has been, this, this has been in the, the shoot for two years. Did this some this I think it was June, right? So it'll be it'll be two years in June. I don't know. I wonder. You know, though, two years ago, a year and a half ago, Vince steps down. I think said he was retiring at the time, but the board allows him back. So, on what grounds do do they know something for the, about these charges not being le- legitimate or? As presented, they obviously let him back, so he was cleared in some way. Well, or are they yeah, culpable because, of not having done their due diligence? Uh, am I, if, if the information that we are not privy to was uh, brought to a board, I don't think many boards would say, "Ah, oh, come on back." That's what I mean. We, so, we'll, we'll walk. We'll walk. We'll walk. We'll walk. We'll walk this back. Don't worry about it. I don't think it's a surprise either that The Rock, a very likable, very high Q rating probably on The Rock, was announced as a, a board member the same week that this goes down. I think TKO Well, to me, the situation, this, to... Vince, didn't, Vince no longer had any monetary play with the company. He didn't, he wasn't a... Uh, He was he was he was a minority owner. So well, he sold a bunch of stock. He sold six hundred thirty million or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah. Which may, I mean, maybe that made him a target too, though. For some, because this is a this is a lawsuit seeking compensatory damages. I just look at it and I say. My friend got harassed because he didn't, in the middle of, of Royal Rumble weekend, didn't, uh, while he's trying to book two, a woman's Rumble and a men's Rumble and the rest of the show, and moving forward, along with the fact that one of their uh, stars, two of their stars, uh, of their of, of their top ten are now out. Injured, yeah. Um, that he didn't take the time to read the sixty three pages that his uh, father in law had already backed out of the company and said, "I'm I'm I'm done." But Kevin, he's also not allowed, I would imagine, to comment on an active suit. No. The attorney, TKO attorneys would have told him you can't comment on a lawsuit. He's not an attorney, first of all. And he's he's not involved in the lawsuit in any way. Uh, and his job was creative. So I, he would not have been allowed to comment anyway. I don't know what people expect him to say. <laughs> yeah, my father-in-law. Is a, it, it, it could never happen. Whether he yeah. was related or not, and anyone in the company would have been told by attorneys. I was wondering who I picked straight. up that BMW for. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I don't know what people. I don't know what people expect sometimes. 
I don't think it's, it's, and then everything's is, an angle. Everything's an angle. What what, what was Vince's uh, rebuttal to this? That you know, like basically that he's well, he just said he's going to fight it. That is, yeah, he, that's it, all it, I saw. Yeah, it's a he's and my whole thing is it's just like he'll have his day in in, in court and you know this thing this thing will play out, but you know. I'm not. I, I'm not going to say that this this woman, because I don't know her, was. She could have very easily have been. This could have been a a, a consensual uh, relationship. Um, it's it's. It appears to me that through reading what I've read, that uh, at some point uh, Vince's wife found out about it, said cut this off, which she immediately did, and. The situation from there was they worked out an agreement. Uh, there would be no, this relationship would not go forward. And this was what you would get. You would sign the non-disclosure, much like the other four women had. Uh, it wasn't like there wasn't some kind of a pattern here. You know, if if somebody is such a predator and and so deadly you you lock that person up well that's the thing too if you're the attorney if you're miss grant's attorney drawing these papers to get the well, let's say it was the three million dollars or whatever it was in the uh for the nda and you hear this story don't you have some responsibility as her lawyer to say hold on call the goddamn police right now because you've been have you seen her assaulted attorney? Assaulted for three years. Like, like her, uh, their attorney's uh, appearance? No. And have you seen her speak? No, I read. I read her quotes. Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen her Anne, actually Anne, speak. What's her name? Anne, Anna? Anne something? Yeah. She's a short, blonde-haired woman that looks okay. like she went to fucking University of Phoenix and got her law degree. So not the finest. Are we saying not the Did, finest? I would not, uh, I would not say that... When, when she went into uh, the psychology of the um, grooming, and she really didn't know any of the terminology, but, but she went ahead and made sure that, that this is nothing that she was was a, a specialist in, nor had any real uh, expertise in, just some books that she'd read. Like, Wow. Well, if my client guy, walked into a, my office, a guy with a guy with four million dollars probably is not going to be able to put much of a cross on this on this girl on the stand with this one uh, defending her. Well, they'll settle. This won't see a, a courtroom. I don't know about that. Really, you think it's it's already out now? Yeah, but there's a lot of names that would have to be uh, yeah, unredacted. Just, I think the pressure is going to be I don't know. Vince to just write a check. V Vince is still Vince. All right. You know, the thing The thing that this has gotten so much, I, I say coverage, but coverage makes it sound legitimate, right? When I say coverage, right. I think of like NBC. Uh, oh, well, I, I saw it on Lester Holt. No, 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 I know, but. But I'm I mean, referring to like podcasts. I'm right. I'm just too. No, oh, no, I'm, I mean, I I'm talking coverage. about. I'm talking about a blurb. I haven't seen anything on any news. Besides, well, the Wall Street Journal was, I think, the one that broke the uh, the actual document first. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say is the coverage that I've seen in the secondary markets. Let's call it like podcasting. Um, mm. the, the, they're mentioning, like you mentioned Paul before, this is the responsibility at this point of law enforcement to, to, and a district attorney to pursue if this is criminal, if it's going to just remain civil. I don't know how it can with some of the things I read in there, but if it remains civil, then this is attorneys are going to hash this out because this is a money thing. Um, to me, though, when you start you, for damages, when you start using terms like trafficking and, and that's a criminal term, though, that, and yes, and so, I mean it's just like so. It's 
it seems to me like uh, almost like this uh, 63 page thing is it just doesn't seem like it was prepared by somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing either that or they're purposely using language to make it seem like it's a precursor to more in an effort to speed a settlement maybe it was uh maybe it was a uh, a conscious move but but look okay, so this is not paul's responsibility i mean his his name comes up in these podcasts this is the last freaking thing he signed up for steph I feel awful for. I mean, she leaves. She has to leave the position in uh, last year when the hush money thing first comes out, and Vince steps aside. She's just like, I don't want a part of this. She leaves, and um, I mean, she, her kids are going to grow up. This is in the cultural zeitgeist now, regardless of what happens. Um, so she's. This has been foisted upon her. Um, TKO has fourteen hundred employees. WWE, 800 employees making a living for their families. They've got to get, these companies have to get back to business, or this company has to get back to business. They've got to, and this is what, when you're sitting ahead of a, at the head of a corporation, you're responsible for getting rid of risky behavior and managing risky behavior. <clears throat> so this, so the responsibility at this point, falls on law enforcement if it's going to be criminal, or these attorneys that are hashing out this money situation if it stays a civil lawsuit. So the inclusion of all these other people's names and stuff, is, it was just weird to me. I guess people get on the air and they just throw any, they say whatever's on their mind, uh, irris irrespective to handling it responsibly. Right. Well, I mean, it just, uh, I don't I, Let me so ask you a question. Uh, sure. Um, this is weird. I thought of this right before going on the air. I know you a little bit, and I knew you before this. And you respect strength. You also have a good moral compass. A good guy, as some people would say. God, you're difficult. But you're a good guy. You have a good heart. You lost your father young. Is there a part of you, as this is playing out, that sees a father figure in trouble? Oh, I mean... I just... You know, when, when I... Dove into this, you know, as much as I was going to, because I, you know, I'm I'm not going to sit and read sixty three pages of of any sixty seven. If you only read sixty three <laughs> of it, you'd be you'd yeah. be missing. But uh, I just I looked at it and I just because um, Paul is 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 such a good friend. Um, I love Stephanie to death. Um, Shane's a friend. Linda's always been good to me. So it's a it's a family that I've always felt welcome around. Um, Vince was the first person to see anything in me, um, as far as uh, with the ability to be a star. To you know, to, uh, he put me as that figurehead of his business uh during the, the steroid trials and um so yeah i mean there's there's it's i i don't want anything that i don't want it to be true you know i don't want it to be true and i don't want um harm to come to any of those people because like in the absence of your dad when you succeed in this business I know how important it was to you to bring that belt to your mother in right. December of uh, 90, uh, 94. Yep. Um, but there was someone absent from that ceremony of bringing the belt into the, into the bedroom. But maybe in Vince, the guy that said, yeah, Kev, 
you're my guy, there were echoes of Bob in there, maybe. I'm sure there were. And I'm sure that there was a lot of times. That, uh, the last time we really talked, talked, was at Paul's 50th. And everybody went, had walked in. They did like a, one of those um, drone light shows. And Vince and I just had, a, you know, 15 minutes where we, we, we just talked before, you know, everybody just sat down and we just kind of, we kind of found ourselves off in the corner and we, and we talked. That was really the last time I talked to him, you know, just man to man about different things. And it was just, I don't know, it was just, I've always had a different uh, relationship with him than I, than I have a, a lot of people. Right. So, yeah, this uh, this was disturbing for me. Um, he reached out to you with Tristan also, didn't he? Yeah. 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 I mean, I was I was. You know, he said anything you need, you know. So. This is this is you know just fuck. It's a tough one. It's sad. It's, it's sad, man. Certainly not. Uh, not something to fucking yuck, yuck, yuck. You know. Yeah. Well, and that's why we. And I can to see it. I, go and, through. And I can see it in my friend's face after fucking the Royal Rumble. I can see it in his face, and you know everybody's gonna sit there and say, "Well, he should have been." Uh, fucking you know sat down you know what he didn't I, I don't think that people when it's somebody that you love i don't think you're you you really like it's not like fucking uh all torpedoes you know straight ahead to, yeah, that's right what, what do i need not to say what do i need not to do you're just trying to get through the motherfucking day man and the things that that have been alleged, man, they're fucking hurt. They're horrific. They're they're not. It's you know they're horrific. But at the same time, man, there's so many things that if you if you know Vince and you read into him, you know, it's 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 a it's a fantasy. It's a power thing. And it's not. It's there's no three black guys. That are, it's just oh, in the text, it seemed like yeah, fantasy play. It was a fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fantasy play, and the girl comes back and she says, "Well, I don't, I can't do it Wednesday. I can do it Friday." I, I'm sorry, man. It's it's hard for me to fucking just take all this shit and just throw a motherfucker under the bus when there's when they're put when they're trying to to, to uh, because they're not going criminally. When they're trying to uh, get what they can pay wise, because you know, three million dollar settlement that that blonde hair girl's getting a million of it. Oh, the attorney, yeah, she'll get a third, sure. Yeah, so you know, who, who's who, who's pulling whose strings here? Let me put you on the other side of this right now as Ari Emanuel, okay, and going forward. Do you have to clean house? Do you have to just pay? Now, again, these are allegations. Nothing's been proven. There's been no criminal charges, but other people are named. And in the document now, it's employee one, two, three, four, five. But let's say you're Ari and you know who these people are. Do you clean house? Do you have to ask people to step aside just to exorcise? I mean, the I go, you know, this is the old, you know, I'm not going to throw the baby away with the bathwater. I mean, Vince has said that he's done. You know, he's in, in no form or fashion going to be a part of this moving forward. So that's been alleviated. Um, Johnny no longer works for the company. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who else is is involved in this. Um, 
but I don't, you know, it, it seemed to me that, that everybody that was, um, was brought up is, has been disassociated with the company. Excuse me. So, um, I think right now, I, I think that this company is in as good a shape as it's beyond. It's a, it's an amazing juggernaut. They just signed a, a huge Netflix deal, and I just I don't see Netflix pulling out of this because of this. I think that I think that cooler heads will prevail. I think that this business will go forward as it always has. And just like when I broke into the business and there was the sucking of toes going on in the ring, you know what I mean? I mean, mm. there's, it's just, there's always been something somewhere, whether <laughs> it's, it's... Some fucking business. Right, some guy in, <laughs> that's a promoter in Memphis that's, <clears throat> you know, got a liking for, you know... Young, young ladies? Boys. Yeah, yeah young, young boys and wants to... You know, have them come up the room and give them the Bundy splash for the five count. You know, there's a, there's been all kind of crazy shit that's been going, and it's just it is what it is. And it's just like I think that we're this may be it. You know, the last dinosaur may have went in the tar pit, but at the same time, man, just you know, one man's kink one man's perversion is 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 another man's you know just horrific uh we're, one we're, man's we're, three black dongs yeah we're all for i mean it's just every everybody's to you know like i my my thing i said at the beginning is if it's if it's trafficking if it's rape if it's sexual assault those are criminal charges, and those have to be addressed in, in, in exactly that manner. If they're just fucking being used to push more money into this situation for somebody to get a payday, a settlement, yeah. then, it, that, then that's wrong, and, and the system's being used for the wrong for the wrong is being used the wrong way, and I don't think that those that, that people should be. I don't think people should be in any way rewarded for deviancy. Either way, and whether it just be deviant, deviant business that comes off of fucking deviant sexual behavior. And yeah, I mean, listen, from a corporate standpoint, putting the, the criminal charges aside, and, and this is what we talked about a year and a half ago when we were just getting the show going and this started breaking, the relationship situation of, some, of a superior and somebody who over whose career they hold power, a sexual relationship is not appropriate anyway. So that, that would have had to have, that would have been a, a deal breaker anyway couldn't have that type of situation. So, yeah, so from a corporate standpoint, yes. I just think it's just, you know, it's very strange that this girl whose parents have, must have passed pretty close to each, each other, and she's their caregiver, mm -hmm. and the next thing you know, somebody comes to Vince and says, hey, you know, we helped this girl out, Vince gives her a job, and then she's saying, "Well, you know, I, I, I I'd stop by his apartment. He hugged me in his underwear." Well, that seems to me like when my wife comes home and I'm in my underwear, and you know, she is in the kitchen, and I walk by her and give her a hug. I, it's, well, it's, not the neighbor though. If the neighbor came to see you, I think you'd put. Well, but that's you. I'm not in a relationship with the neighbor. Obviously, these two. These oh, you're two saying people. after they started yes. seeing each other? Oh, yes. oh, I thought. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I thought mean, this because, was like no, because when from from what I was was told about this, this is you know she's saying that this was common behavior for him to 
you know, with her. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, that's that's kind of how it happens, you know. I was under the impression it was before that, they were in a relationship, he would open the door um, with the underwear. Yeah. I guess so. I have to reread it, I guess. That's why I said it. I didn't want to get into I, the details. I, I, of yeah, I, ha- I haven't read it, you know. I'm just, you know. Right. I, I'm just try. I, I just watched all the other people that that that, that went in their uh, fucking murder. She wrote uh, <laughs> fucking podcasts, and you know. I do, from a guest booker standpoint, wonder a little bit, like, would who Vince would have booked for for the three? But would it have been contemporary black dongs, or maybe like if like a, a legend did a run, like a Tony Atlas, would that have gotten a pop? As opposed to like going with our truth and you know, just kind of, or like an odd Ahmed, Ahmed Johnson from the Attitude Era running, I don't know, I don't know how he thinks. I think you got to go with the top guys. You know, uh, you know, too many people to even mention Kevin in the last week said that you need to do an AEW recap every week. Um, I fe- but I feel bad asking you to have to watch. I couldn't. I mean, that, that, if my life, that may be the way that I could like slow down my death is just to watch AEW because my time fucking stands still when you <laughs> have that programming on. Right. The grim and then somebody, won't come in. Somebody told door, me they yeah. said that, you know, that, well, one of the problems is that, that, that Tony, you know, he, he, he keeps, you know, he keeps everything secret. You know, he doesn't want to. I'm thinking. I, I promise you, man. When it when it comes down to finishes and storylines and shit like that, the last person that you, that you want to fucking not smarten up are the people involved in doing the this <laughs> this the actual fucking uh you know heavy lifting. Like Jesus, dude. Yeah, the the the, the paranoia. The paranoia is, is, I mean, when when you can, when you can't fill center stage, and you, and you filled Wembley a year ago, I think maybe it's time for a readjustment. Well, you won't. You don't have to watch that this week. And you said you're not watching the Super Bowl next week. You're gonna, no, you're not gonna, watching you're gonna put, the Super Bowl. You're gonna put a little money on it. No, I'm too worried. I, I. I I'm afraid Taylor Swift is gonna just she's gonna mm. grab a hold of me, and she's going to make me vote for for Joe Biden. No, no, don't worry about it. You just put John Voight out there, and it'll balance everything out. Listen, but if if you if anyone out there is looking for a super offer for Super Bowl Fifty Eight, DraftKings Sportsbook has Boom. you covered. New customers can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into two. 100 instantly in bonus bets if you're a new customer okay so what are the lines right now steve i need to look at the lines i got to consider my DraftKings sports Isn't it book one, action one and a half well I'll see what it is today i mean it's two weeks so a lot can happen but uh, if i like the line now i'm gonna get in early guys you're gonna use promo code tknp by the way when you uh what is it when you there? go there and get your uh what am i looking at Draft Kings has it at two. San Francisco giving two. Okay. So uh, let's see. I have to think about that. Draft King two. Oh, San Francisco boy. giving two. Giving two. To somebody that, I mean, how many, this will be the third yeah, chief. No, they just know how to do it. You know what I mean? When you've been to the big dance recently. Getting two. They don't like being underdogs. They don't like being underdogs this week, I'll tell you that. I got four points with them this week on DraftKings. But anyway, guys, dra- download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now as you consider this. And when the line moves where you want it, boom, pull the trigger and use that code TKNP. It stands for the Kevin Nash Podcast, by the way. And new customers, bet your 5 bucks, get 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58. And use that code TKNP. The crown is yours, guys. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY 
Four six seven three six nine in Connecticut. Help is available for a gambling problem. Call eight 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 seven eight nine seven 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 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in, in Kansas, twenty one plus age uh, varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire one hundred sixty eight hours after issuance. CDKNG.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Thank you, DraftKings. And you know what? Thank you to Andre BDD, who listened or watched last week, and he said, quote, we need more of Nash covering Dynamite. Between him and Cornette, I think AEW fans would have full-blown emotional damage breakdowns every week. CM Punk 146, you know, the more I listen to Kevin Nash talk about worldwide news and things that are important to the United States, the more I appreciate his insight and wisdom. He's at that age where the bullshit's gone, and he tells it like it is without having an agenda. Thank you for the realism, Kevin. I appreciate it. CM Punk 146 showing you a little love there, Kevin. Wildcat TM, I work in architecture and engineering for almost 10 years. Trump still owes my clients money, who in turn owes Get me. the fuck out. I told you last week, I know contractors that he just doesn't pay. Uh, who in turn own me and my company money. Very infuriating. I always have a debate with one of my buds who is a MAGA, and I tell him all the time that the guy has directly affected my life, and he still swears by him. It's this. It's this. Uh, well, apprentice. He's going to have some image. huge. He's got some huge. Uh, he's got Carol for eighty five. He's got. Um, they're talking to the the, uh, the the fraud thing in New York about around three three hundred plus. So he's he's gonna he's gonna have to come up with a a, a half a bill, but. I watched him the other day, and he told me that, I mean, the most uh, valuable thing he has is his brand, which could be worth up, up to $10 billion. Unfortunately, you can't account for that. Is this, is on... this motherfucker like <laughs> semi-Dr. Evil? I mean. <laughs> Definitely in his own world. Yeah. Because the Trump vodka, Trump steaks, Trump university, and Trump airline all fucking just wonderful. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Nick 21JY says this is not, 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 uh. not to fucking throw him in the 2020 run. Sorry. This isn't the real hook. This is the Borg Genesis Pfizer Collins hook. So, see, I didn't even I'm know sorry. that Joe didn't beat Hook for the belt. I read, I read that. So he said he didn't even beat Hook for the. And I'm not thinking, well, what the fuck is Hook going down if he didn't beat him for the belt? He beat somebody else for the belt. Who did he beat for the belt? Sammy. Someone, someone will know. <clears throat> I wasn't watching that week. MJF? There you go. He beat MJF? So what's MJF? M MJF's going to be a free agent, right? Yeah, by the looks of it, right? After his big manifesto. They got Drew McIntyre's uh, coming up, or his deal's up. I think the Seth's uh, deal's up. Robert Ferguson, this may have been the best podcast I have ever watched. Kevin Nash was correct and spot on with everything he said. The shit today stinks worse than any real dog shit. Thank you, Kevin. Stevie Mack, as a fellow Detroiter coming off a heartbreaking Lions loss last night, I mm. needed this. This was pure gold. So, Stevie, you got your Monday morning dose. Hope you get over it. McFlotty. Hey, man, with respect to music, please check out Rival Sons. Any album would be fine. You know, it's you got a lot of suggestions. I don't know if yeah, you Yeah, what through. I had to do is I had to write them down. 
on a fucking legal pad. A pad? Yeah, I had to write them down and then fucking then go and search. Right. So I have so I have some homework to do. I sent you the Sturgill Simpson stuff. Yes. Too. Yeah. But um, I, I I've got sixty seven pages I have to read before I do anything. <laughs> The 68th is all the music. You know what? Put oh, on the music mm-hmm. as you read, maybe, for a full visceral experience. I don't want to fucking destroy my shit, my new shit. <laughs> um, we have did a one, room. Did, did, something, of, did something happen to uh, Brian uh, Brian Wilson today? Of the Beach Boys? Uh, just, oh, I, I, did, I, did I see something that came, that came by? His, His wife, wife passed. passed. I hope you're a caregiver. Won't be a, it won't be a caregiver. No. He wasn't the one named in the suit whose wife had passed recently, was it? No. I no, because it just so. passed. So it just passed. It couldn't have been. Hey, you know what I did watch that was pretty good if you're into it? There's a documentary about the making of the USA for Africa, We Are the World song. I saw that. And just how they had to get that all in one night with... 50 egomaniacal 80s. I didn't realize Tony songs. Belafonte was so. Harry. Harry man. Yeah, Harry. Harry was so instrumental in that. Yeah. So you watched the documentary, right? No, I just oh. I watched the, the teaser to watch it with uh, Michael Jackson was there and Lionel Richie. It's pretty good. You'll st- Unlike Oppenheimer, you'll stay, you'll stay awake for that one. Jesus Christ. We got a room full of people here. If you want to be part of the live audience that enjoys Click This every week, gets to see the pregame show, which we're often told is better than the recorded show, um, and uh, also get hell uh, yeah, and it's and that's page two, um, and a and a bunch of uh, uh, exclusive content uh, on Click This TV. Just go to clickthistv.com. Be part of the live audience. Clickthistv.com. Oh, you mentioned it before, CM Punk. Uh, it is confirmed that he has the uh, Taurus tries the torn try. Um, now, I want to say he was out nine months. Um, with the ankle before he came back. No, he had a torn. Um, was it a peck or was it? Or I was thought it he a broke his ankle. Again? The guy's he got his he got his foot caught in the fucking gimmick or something. He broke broke his foot first. Broke then his what foot. happened, Don? Then what? Then what happened? You got, you got me in suspense the way you're disseminating this. I feel like I'm watching Mar- 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 Then he tore his tricep. Yes, during all out, and that was a nine month recovery. So, are we to understand that this will be? I just don't. Know. Are they doing tricep reattachments different these days? Mm-hmm. I tore my tricep off the bone, and I didn't miss a pay-per-view in 94. I, that's, I don't know. But you had to be, at, how long were you down for, though? I wrestled with a big fucking hockey fucking elbow thing on. You know, we asked the question a few weeks ago, can there be too many top guys? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not when they not, not when they're fucking you're telling them to hit the fucking hit the beach at Normandy. <laughs> oh. And what's Rollins and MCL? MCL. Good God. And he's had some knee problems. He's had knee issues. Maybe Drew will get re signed. I think he's behind all this. Well, Drew, Drew needs a. You've got to put that that belt on somebody. Well, I mean, you know, Cody's part of the picture in a big way now again, right? And we talked right. about that too. Like, where does Cody stand with the whole CM Punk thing? And the, well, and now it's Drew it's, center stage. It's because you have so many guys. Now you've got you know, you've got so many people that can. And move into those spots. Yeah. Do you, um, <clears throat> you've got to, be, just because of what they've done with Punk so far, you've got to keep them involved. How? So, what, that's what I'm going to ask you. He can't just disappear, right? 
I mean, this is they have so much invested. You gotta. I mean, it was such a. a you gotta go down business. there and run your. You gotta go down there and run your dick sucker in a, in a fucking sling. I don't know. Is it? Uh, is he? Does he move to more of a? Uh, an outside, or you realize, a manager, but uh, but or you realize that they when they when they 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 drill that and they, they insert that tendon that you can you can actually work a little bit around it. Uh, you might have to just keep it down to five moves, but hey, it worked for you. It worked for me, and I didn't. I didn't. Like I said, I didn't miss anything. I think I missed a week of house shows. Are they more strict with that now, maybe, the medical clearances and stuff, than they uh, were in 95? Still at 1099. <laughs> yeah, but they put, don't have to you, let you out you there. You can't, you can't fucking, you, can't, you can't paint the fucking roof with a fucking cast on? <laughs> fucking, that fucking, that, that elbow fucking, that, that fucking, you don't know, it's, So, uh, but all right. But assuming he can't work for a few months, he can't. He can't just disappear, right? He has to. Name a guy that was that's injured that that's been in the mix. So he's going to hit fifty. He's going to get that ARP card before he knows it. <laughs> you got the magazine today. Robert De Niro's on the cover this month. Article about having. Who, who do you ever beat? Having good sex. That's always attractive on the cover of the uh, ARP magazine. I was like when Bob Dole that started headline. fucking p- p- pumping fucking uh, Viagra. Didn't do anything for his hand, for his arm. Um. Yeah, but that fucking baby, that fucking kid, God, looked like it was holding a baby, baby's arm holding a fucking apple. Did you ever see Dusty on the basketball court, by the way? I saw that on something. I want to put this up here for a minute. I'm trying to see who he's playing. If it was like a charity, like a WCW versus somebody charity. I think I see Sting out there. Sting gives him a uh, a tap pass, which turns into a layup at one point. Here, play the clip. There's Dust. Drills a three-pointer, all net. Um, now, on the breakaway here... Uh, that looks like Stinger there, right? 22 with the hair. I don't know who that black guy. Maybe he's on the other team, that black guy. But uh, Dust had the moves. I was wondering if you knew what this was from, what that uh, basketball game was. Yep, I, th- I saw it this week, though. Was he an athlete beyond... Wrestling, do we know? He played football, didn't he? Didn't he? Okay, I can see. Was he West Texas State, Daddy? I, was he I another think, West was, Texas wasn't State? Ev- wasn't everybody that was before say. they got into pro wrestling? Yeah. West Texas State. And I heard uh, I heard Murdoch didn't even attend the college. He just went there, walked around, and got on the team somehow, but actually had no credits, which wouldn't surprise me based on the Dick Murdoch stories we hear all the time. Because well, Scott, Scott loved Murdoch. Did, where did they work? Japan. Uh, I remember when Scott brought Murdoch back and had him at ringside with him for a while at WCW? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dickie Murdoch, legend. Legend. Dickie would go to fucking Japan and he would he'd have a, a, a grocery bag as his bag. His travel is it for the- yeah he had, he would have a, he would have his boots and his trunks and his fucking and his toothbrush. That's amazing. Yeah, See, you guys don't need all this shit. Owen Owen wasn't far behind. Get on a plane with just Owen. The Owen right? would show up with, with something that looked like a fucking like a you hold a bowling ball. That'd be his bag over in Japan. I caught the uh, plane ride from hell. Uh, Vice documented. Did you ever? Catch that one, the dark side of the ring. No. Uh, you were not. The, I can't remember the year. I'm, you, in, I'm on it. I'm on, on the, the plane. plane. Fuck yeah, I'm on the plane. Oh. I watched Kurt and 
You, Rod, avo- you avoided it. Uh, yeah, slamming into the door, right? No, I, the minute the, we, we 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 sat in this area, uh, like the a lounge type area before we boarded the plane, and there was fucking I don't know five six bottles of Jack Daniels there, and we were in that room for about twenty minutes, and those I looked over and those bottles were gone, and then we got on the plane and they had. They didn't have the little, you know, air, airplane bottles. They had. Yeah. And those things were fucking. And you wiped out the cart before you were, even left the ground. I mean. So it started getting rowdy, started getting rowdy. And I looked up and I saw Paul and Stephanie sitting up front. And I said, oh, look, the anti-deposition crew. <laughs> I'm going up there. Oh, so you went up? I went up there. Fuck yeah, man. I bought a bottle of fucking wine. I had my own fucking wine. I took my fucking Xanax, drank my bottle of wine, and went to fucking sleep. I woke up there like, oh, my God, and Flair had his cock out, and this is not. And I'm like, I'm glad I missed that one. Yeah. Who was up for it? Was Vince was up front, JR. Oh, Yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> me, Paul. Paul, anybody, anybody, anybody with enough fucking sense that didn't want to lose their job. Once, once you give me guaranteed money, good luck fucking getting me out, getting that guaranteed money out of me. Right, like I ain't giving that shit back. Um, all right, it's time for the tap out once again, Kevin. We we'll see how much you Ooh. can endure of something. Uh, this week. Um, the tap out is. Can we awesome. make a rule that we, at mm-hmm. no point can we use that Yoko Chuck Berry fucking tape? The what? <laughs> the Yoko Yoko and John Yoko and John Lennon with Chuck Berry, and she's you. I know you've seen that before. Oh, she's howling. Oh, don't think that's not coming on some week. Fucking T and I used to put that on at night and fucking just cry. It was so. Just Chuck Berry's fucking face is just unbelievable. <laughs> I know you saw the, that Beatles documentary on Disney, uh, like that nine-hour uh, Peter yeah. Jackson one. Yeah. Uh, she gets the mic a little bit, too, during oh. a free-form session there, too. It's not as grating, but it's 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 pretty it's unbearable. fucking, yeah. Well, Kevin, it's time for the ultimate face-off. The Beard Bowl is here. Mm. As the two best teams square off in the NFL. Uh, We're going to have two teams square off to see who's the champion of face fuzz. Our friends at Manscaped. Is this this gay guys that uh, they got their beards with them? Oh, beards. Uh, Okay, that's good. That's that's deep there. You you, you went went West Village there. I I, I fucking, I hit, I Manscaped before. I I told you when I was talking to you. I'm talking to Kev on the phone. I hear Mm. He's like, oh, I got a fucking manscape. I'll call you later. <laughs> he did. He hit that manscaped hard Fuck today. Yeah, man. Got my shit all trimmed up. We're talking about Manscaped's Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's the MVP of facial grooming, offering precision trimming, water resistant technology, and uh, enough styling options to outplay any opponent. Guess what? You can join the winning team along with the 10 million men who already trust Manscaped with our special offer. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code CLICK, K-L-I-Q. 20% off. Why the fuck does that music keep playing? Free shipping. Craft your winning look with Manscaped. Is it the Manscaped theme song? Did they request that? We could play it if they want it. We're talking about the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Kevin is the biggest fan of said item. It's the ultimate franchise player to take your grooming game to the end zone. The package has made it easier than ever to craft your signature look with ease. Featuring the Beard Hedger Cordless Trimmer, it packs one guard with 20 different lengths. That's right, no more messy drawers full of guards. One guard, 20 lengths. That's what you you were telling your friend, Kevin, right? That, uh... That's amazing. There's more. The Beard Hedger is water resistant. Run it under the sink and shave in the shower for easy cleanups. It's time to move the sticks. From can you can you see how easy it is for me to use this mask? Look at me down here. Look look at look at me cutting. Oh, I my, see. Yeah, you trim the body. You get the trim, 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 trim right there. Trim my beard there. Get it at all. Yeah, see, it's 
That's guys, simple. There is beard balm, beard oil, shampoo, conditioners. These are their special beard formulations, only from Manscaped. And as a bonus, they're going to throw in the beard accessory pack. That's a beard brush, a beard comb. Kevin sits around, watches TV, plays with the beard comb. And I beard actually, I've got a new thing where I actually use the balm and the wand. So, oh, to the balm to <laughs> to lube you up so you can take the whole gimmick. <laughs> Finishing touches every modern bearded gentleman deserves. So here's what we want you to do. Get your 20% off and free shipping with the code click KLIQ at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Only with the code click KLIQ. Gear up for the real halftime show where your beard takes center stage. All right. Um, have you heard of Tay Zonday? You probably haven't. But you're gonna now. Here we go. I think this is another intern. Oh, it's Chocolate Rain, it's called, by the way. Now, that was the tune. Okay. Stop. He looked away as soon as you say, almost as if he was looking to it's, you. That's not even him. That's some fucking bogus. I, I, know, I, I, I thought so too, but I found some other cuts by him. And this is, to, yeah, that, that, this is his voice. That seemed a little fucking kabuki-ish. I'm, I'm, that's, it could be the new theme song to the show. I'm just putting it out there. I quit. Uh, Florida man, Jersey guy, don't quit yet because we have to, uh, we got to sort this out here. Uh, two real headlines, one, a Jersey guy's headline, one Florida man's headline. Um, you know, what's coming up too soon. Uh, we we're almost in February. This will air February 5th, I think. So we'll just be about a month and about a month away from the, uh, March madness tournament. So, um, just like last year, we're going to have the. Florida division, nice. Jersey division will vote on the. Of course, last year's national champion for us was the. I, I believe it was the uh, the manger scene. He beat uh, out the guy that masturbated <laughs> while fighting off forty eight cops or whatever. <laughs> that, I, listen, that was a battle down to the end between those two. Ooh, buzzer beater. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so first headline: Guy uses summons to wipe. But then throws it at cop and completely naked man barges into church thrift shop and steals a t-shirt. Guy uses summons to wipe butt, then throws it at Summon, cop. Summons is New Jersey. Naked guy is because um, it's, 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 it's too cold in Jersey to be naked. And nobody say gets, it happened this week. Nobody, nobody gets a summons in fucking in Florida. <laughs> hey, All right. Well, you got it. <laughs> I love that he walked in totally naked and took a shirt <laughs> to cover up. I mean, chocolate rain, baby. <laughs> chocolate rain. All right, let's go see our friend here uh, in Jersey who wiped his ass with a summons and threw it back at the cop. It's Joseph Greenwood. Uh, he told police what he really thought of his summons. The 45-year-old New Jersey man received a summons after being released on municipal court charges, threatening to assault someone, then allegedly placed it between his butt cheeks uh, per the indictment, wiped it up and down, and threw it at the cop. Very good. That's a hell of a time to get a fucking paper cut. Mm. <sighs> Chocolate rain. <laughs> Completely naked man barges into church. This, I believe, was in... Was this in Orlando? Let's see. Uh, uh, Michael DeCosta, Marion County Sheriff's Office, which would have been in Ocala at the Wings of Faith thrift store. Um, came in, uh, according to the thrift shop's website, the ministry offers low prices and donations to needy people. Uh, he came in and uh, took the shirt, uh, but didn't uh, cover the bottom of his body. Therefore, making no effort to cover his genitalia while in the store and acting erratic, he was arrested. 
Kevin, your record is uh, is intact. I'm on fire yet again. All right, Kev, as I shed all this weight, I'm down nice. 20. I'll have you know. Um, I've, I've got to pair this with something. It's It's got to be the weight loss and some fitness. So I am rocking FitBod, okay? This is what your workout really needs. I love the app. I love the ease of use. It's a fitness app that creates completely personalized workouts that adapt as you improve. I love the videos. I don't have a uh, a thick, um, dense library, mental library of workouts to to draw from. So I these videos help with technique. Whether you're a seasoned gym goer or you're just starting your fitness journey, FitBot will push you to make progress. It's like having your own personal trainer, but better. It's cheaper. You can work out anywhere with or without equipment. It's easy to build a custom fitness plan that works for you. So what you do is you plug in your information, you put your goals in there, you work out. You don't even have to get other equipment. It, it, you use what you've got. It will cultivate the workout based on what you've got. Okay. Um, your goals, your fitness level, and the available equipment, all right? It adapts as you improve each workout. It's going to be challenging, pushes you to make progress. It tracks your muscle recovery so you can avoid burnout and keep up your momentum, okay? Fine-tuned by experienced, certified personal trainers to bring the best practices and exercise science to you. Learn movements the right way. Like I said, the demonstration videos. How many? How many? Over a 1,000, Okay demonstration video so you get that technique exactly as Kevin talks about the right twist, the right angle on the wrist. You'll see exactly what's going on. Okay. They are essential for your workouts, regardless of your level, guys. Join FitBod today. Get your personalized workout plan. You're going to get 25% off your subscription. Okay. Or just try the app for free at FitBod.me, like me. Fitbod.me slash click. You got to put the K L I Q to get your 25% off your subscription. Okay, that's F I T B O D dot M E slash K L I Q. Okay, personalize your experience with the Fitbod Gym profile. In that profile, you find several options to customize your workout for your unique fitness preferences. Okay. The app keeps your gym sessions fresh and fun. There's a powerful algorithm that understands your strength training ability. This is unbelievable, this app. This is really the workout 3.0. Go to fitbod.me slash click K-L-I-Q. Get your 25% off. Thank you, Fitbod, for taking the ride with Click This. And thank you all for being here. Hashtag Ask Nash is how you get your questions in here on the socials. Or just go to clickthistv.com and join our live audience and ask Kev some questions, as you'll see here tonight. Fernam Schneewitz, let's start with him. What was the absolute worst hotel-slash-motel you've ever had to spend a night when you were on the road back in the day? Um... I think Steve and I stayed at a Christmas tree inn, like in Lenore City, Tennessee. Christmas a tree motel, inn. Yeah. What made it shitty? Oh, Condition I mean, of the room. You could see it through smell? the towels. It was just fucking brutal. I mean, it just. And you got the world. You got the world champ. No, this and is what we were doing to you guys. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Mr. Berger, as a fellow art lover and artist and someone who I feel has a very good grasp of finances, I'm curious, have you ever looked at investing in art? I appreciate the unknown artist having an opportunity, but I'm thinking more the big names, Monet, Pollock, etc. I don't have $45 million to fucking buy a Pollock. So... Yeah, but couldn't you drop... Uh, I'm sure there's some... Uh... I don't know. What would a mid-level, not a Rothko or something that charges Matisse. tens of millions, but I, what would a what a, what would a Basquiat get you? It, it, it's going to be. It's always going to depend on the size. 
you know, Doesn't the size, always. The size Ahmed whether it's Johnson. a pencil, whether it's a sketch, whether it's <clears throat> pastel, whether, I mean, it's always, but for me, I mean, I, I, I collect oil and acrylic, so, I mean, let me just let me see what, uh, just pull up, up my Pollock here. So, All right, let's I'm see gonna say that the Pollock auction. The Pollock, uh, there's a Pollock for sale. I'll say four. I'll say minimum is going to be twenty-five million. Let's see Christie's. I'm on the Christie's website. That would be a place to be. Um. Okay. So yeah, how does yeah. Steve go on? They're ranging from uh, on the low end twenty-five million. On the high end, okay. seventy, but pretty million. Pretty much my, uh, yeah, <laughs> my pretty much where you put yeah, it. Yeah, it's just it's. <clears throat> that's one of the one of the reasons why I love the uh, the the movie, the accountant. He's got that airstream and he's got that Pollock above his uh, his bed. That Ben Affleck plays, that autistic. Yes. Account. Yes. But I'm sure I'm sure there's a range. I mean, would you be interested no. in investing in art? Not not being no. in the hurricanes and oh, I think it would be God. It'd be yeah. so yeah. You know, when you've got some assholes throwing ketchup and mustard at the Mona Lisa, I just <laughs> uh, oh, did you see that? Yeah, was it soup? Yeah, I mean, maybe that, that was soup. tomato soup. I don't know. I just I looked at it. And I'm just like thinking of stuff like oh boy. Uh, Brent, does uh, 2K do a facial scan with you? Why can't they capture your signature big sexy smile? Are you talking about the does video they always games, make yeah. you do something like you go, <clears throat> do. Live audience, what do we have? Some questions. Great show tonight. You can ask questions about the show. You can ask Kev something you've always wanted to know. Brendan Douglas, did Kevin ever eat at the WWF's New York restaurant when it was me open? And, uh, I did. Me and Billy it's Gunn terrible. were, um, we both had our shoulders operated on. And I don't know if you guys, if anybody was there, but for like, I would do like a little stand up. You know, I'd come out and introduce, and I'd do like a little stand up. And, you know, I'd always uh, say something about Lily Garcia's Bush. And it was, it was an ongoing. I was there for like two weeks. I did a two week res residency, but in the uh, in the uh, <laughs> gift shop was Chris Angel, and he was doing that thing where he was in that water tank upside down or some shit. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but uh... was it him or no, was it he, David Chris Blaine? Angel, it, Chris Angel was it was, was Angel. our okay. in house. Um, Magician. Oh, I I know Blaine yeah. did some stuff on the street in New York, but it okay, was so actually you're... part of the. That became. Did it become the Hard Rock? Or I don't know, but I, I know that I have somewhere a hoodie from the New York the, 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 from the restaurant, which was mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of cool. Um. What else? Let's see. Thank you, Brandon. What else? That was we like have forty second, wasn't it? Um, it was broad. Yeah, was it was. Uh, broad. It was right on Broadway. Yeah. It was right in Times Square. Uh, it was. You know what? The Hard Rock was on Fifty Seventh. Uh, WWE was on. It might have been the corner of Forty Second and Broadway. Yeah. Um, and then I think the Hard Rock moved in there after WWE left. Um, what do we have from the house? Come on, you guys are paying to be here. Come on, Brandon Granger. What's your upcoming personal appearance schedule? I got to see you at Squared Circle Expo Indianapolis last year and would love to see you again, big man. Uh, let's see. The next thing I have is, God, I'm like, I think I'm in, in Rochester at a sports memorabilia thing at the end of next month, and that is it. I've got two uh, two episodes of rivals that uh i think x Pac and i are both doing together uh i think the eighth and ninth at the performance center 
and that's it. I'm homo. I'm I'm I'm, yeah, Mania, I'm really anyway. like I'm cutting cutting way back. Very good. Uh, Thomas Logan, F. Mary Kill, 1979 edition. Ready? Adrian Barbeau, Lonnie Anderson, Morgan Fairchild. We get a visual on that, Steve? I got something there for you. Uh, I'd like me to chime in as well. Okay, so... <clears throat> I need to pull them up. That's... Uh, yeah. Okay, so there's Lonnie... Uh, then, um, okay, for the close-up, I was watching, this is reason enough to check us out on YouTube. Uh, then we've got Adrian Always Barbeau. Dunk her. I, that's gotta be a deep fake. She would never fucking pose with a shirt like that. No, I remember but, um, photo. And, uh, Morgan Fairchild. I would, do, I would say that I would go kill her. Too skinny, yeah. right? Yeah. All day long, yeah. right? Yeah. She looks like she'd be more the marrying type, and then the first one would be the Fiazak. Lonnie. Right. Then you'd you have Bert looking for you, too. You no. Know, nah. Any of that. But then he'll Jonathan... end up fucking finding his hairpiece in your crib and... Tangled in the wand. Uh, Jonathan, hello. How was the time living in Arizona and what initially led you there? Well, um, everybody lived in Atlanta. And if you were, like if somebody got injured, they would just, they would call you. And I was at the top of the card. So if somebody at the top of the card went down, they'd call you and you'd, lose days off so i looked out in um manhattan beach and it was mm -hmm. too expensive and then on top of that there was an earthquake that destroyed structurally the house that i was looking at so that my next oh. stop i landed the next day was in phoenix and uh my wife and i lived out in litchfield park and then we moved to North Scottsdale. But that was just to get the, so they couldn't, couldn't get me places. And you, how long were you um, at there? T was born in Phoenix at uh, Good uh, Good Sam's. Um, let's see, we got out there. I was the IC champion when we, when we got out there. And then we moved when I was, I started booking in Atlanta. So. To Atlanta. Yeah, you went to Atlanta, right? To Atlanta. Atlanta. Or Marietta. No. Oh, yeah. I, I lived in, in, I had a loft in Atlanta. I was in, I was in oh, Buckhead. Okay. And then I bought my wife and my son, I put them up in Kennesaw, up in, uh, Pacific Palisades, whatever, I think that's what it was called, or Palisades or something like that. It was Legacy Park, and then they, they had a house in, in Palisades, which was the top end of that neighborhood. Live audience, what do we have? What do we have from you? Josh! Hey, Josh. How you feeling? I'm four weeks and a day into my knee replacement. I just transitioned to a cane from my walker. How long until you were able to walk easily and freely? Well, my wife t informed me that I was walking uh, to the bathroom in three days. So, But I had one done. You, did you just have one? Um, let us know. Yeah, I think, it, I think it was one. I think he said it was one. <clears throat> they wouldn't do both oh, at the yeah. same time, right? Oh yeah. Ooh. I um I I, my, I have an incredible pain tolerance and I've been injured so many times that I just uh <laughs> lo and behold I worked with a, a torn tricep that was just reattached. Um so just the right just the right 
But he did say easily and freely. So when when were you able to like it, get it, around it, without assistance? No, I, with I, a I never cane? had a cane. Um, because it, it's it's hard to explain. It's it's fixed. Like it, it's 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 just it's psychological that you don't realize there's it's fixed. You know, so there's you don't need a cane. What all, all a cane's going to do is it's going to throw your gait off. And the sooner you start to just, it takes about eight months for you to get up and and not say to yourself, I got a fake knee. You know, it, it takes a little. You mean it, it's just on your mind? Really, it's just, you'll, it's just you, you'll get up and it's, you know, number one, the scar is god awful. You know, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty rotten knee. Um, but my, my knee was so bad before I got it replaced that it was, I mean, it was, it was miraculous when they, when they put, when I could actually bend that knee. Like within three right. days, I was just like, oh my, I was ready to tap dance because that pain, that, right. that constant toothache pain was gone. How's your wife's hip? She she's had, uh, um, hip work, she, yeah. Al, she's taking a trip. Against my better judgment, she's taking a trip tomorrow, and she's driving. She's, she's driving. flying. Is yes. she the one driving? Can someone else drive? Not, not drive that S class. I wouldn't want anybody else to drive that S class. That's that's going with her because mm. they're all. She's been driving those her whole, her whole life, so she knows how to. That's a big. Is it her her uh, gas? Yeah, that. It's her her, her gas, and I watched her. Uh, she pa we we passed each other coming back from the store yesterday. I saw her coming, and she she was fine. So. For, for the two seconds yeah, that you passed her in the fine. car, she was fine. How far does she have to drive, though? Uh. Further than she needs to. Right. I love that assessment. I passed her on the road, yeah, and looked, it looked yeah, fine. Yeah. So Could, Couldn't yeah. tell if she was any right. pain whatsoever. But so. Uh, I'm going to text her later. Don't drive. David Van Boglen, Uh Got some bad news on the neck yesterday. We had hoped the brace would help, but it's not enough. So, okay, C4... T1 is in bad shape. Uh, stem cells. Stem Am cells wrong? Would, be, would be first before they fuse. Hmm. But you see, here in the States, you can't get the dose. You got to go down the thing that... Columbia. And Columbia. they just, uh, there's, it's like everywhere right now is killing Americans. NASA, the Bahamas, is it's like an epidemic of uh, t tourists being killed in, in uh, NASA, Bahamas. White, really American tourists, yes. Yeah, that would be me and me. Yeah. So don't right. if you if you have a, a day stay over in NASA and you're on one of those little carnivals, stay your ass on the fucking boat. Stay on the boat, or stay in Atlantis. No, because right? you got to so fucking one of, one of those got, all inclusive. No, oh, they'll yeah, get you there too. It's it's not good. Oh, she's get you with the three black dicks. That's and it's it, all man. over. Guys, uh, click this is a production of Butch and Sunday. It's media produced in association with Podcast Heat, created by Tristan Hell and, yeah! and Sean Oliver. <laughs> <Oliver. laughs> Producer Steve Kaufman. Graphics by Dominic D'Angelo. Title sequence and audio edit. By Wesley Burleson, theme song by Dale Oliver, technical research by Tristan Nash, copyright 2024, John Laurinaitis, I mean Butch and Sundance Media. Kev, how about another one next week? Same time, yeah, same so place. Just pray, pray that the uh, WWE keeps out there. Right. We've done 83.
Never answer